Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Phone Repair and Upgrade. Today I'm going to share with you HTC One M7. I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader, how to install custom recovery, and how we're going to root our HTC One and get super user also. So. I'm going to share with you each steps and in order for all the files I'm going to put the link under my info first uh, let me show you how to put a uh, phone into USB debugging mode you go on uh, setting you scroll all the way up about once you are in about you scroll up it says the software information you click on that then you click more so once uh, you click more you're going to uh, see the build number you have to click uh, you know five six time in order to get that uh, developer mode see now I say you are uh, now a developer so if we go back And we're going to see that uh, the developer option has been appeared. So you're going to hit that. Once you click developer option, you're going to say OK. And US debugging come up. And that is unchecked. So you need to check. You have to say OK. And now you're in a, a debugging mode. So we're going to put our USB cable to our uh, computer. You also have to uh, disable your fast boot in order to use the debugging mode. We go into setting. Once you are setting, you need to scroll up. We're gonna go into the power mode. We click power. We're going to go down. It says fast boot. That is a check. You need to uncheck that. Once you uncheck, that is a disable the fast boot. Now we need to uh, do a uh, super user which is a 1.86 zip file. We're going to copy that and uh, we're going to put this one into our uh, uh, you need to uh, first of all install, uh, install you need to install your sync manager HTC if you don't have on your computer once you have it uh, open then you under root directory you paste that file and uh, that super user file is there. Now we're gonna go back on phone. Now I'm going to show you how to put your phone into fast boot mode. You need to turn your phone off. Phone is uh, off, power off, so you need to start the phone by holding down volume down and power button together. About three to five seconds it will take until you will see the bootloader menu. So let me zoom in. Okay, as you see the fast boot, now we're going to press uh, the power button. And now it says the bootloader mode. And now we're going to plug in our USB to our phone. So once you have uh, your Android uh, folder is uh, on a desktop and you extracted that folder you will see these files you need to go on a Mac folder you need to right click on it and go under services and go under all the way new terminal at folder you need to open that once you open that you need to write down these command period backslash fastboot underscore Mac space OEM space get underscore identifier underscore token then hit enter once uh, the identifier token come you need to uh, highlight uh, that uh, the token you need to copy that right click you need to go all the way at the bottom and you right click and you say copy and open your uh, Microsoft Word so once uh, we have a uh, copy of our identifier token into word file and you need to delete the bootloader so that prepping you need to take a little time to do it 
you need to make sure you delete all the bootloader uh, command of the in the front now you copy the whole uh, thing uh, whole token HTC DAO and make sure you are logged into your account and then you go under unlock bootloader then you click get started make sure that your phone is hooked up And then select the device, HTC One, and now you're going to do the begin unlocking since now you we logged in and now it's going to let us do it continue, yes. Uh, legal term, yes, you need to uh, check those, acknowledge that and proceed to unlock. Once you're doing, uh, just to keep following my device identifier token we're going to paste it here once you paste it then you're going to submit and it says the token submitted successfully you have been sent an email to unlock the key as a file attachment so you need to open your email to get that uh, key so now you go back to your email and uh, get that file and put it back into the same folder so now we need to open uh, that uh, terminal and uh, we're going to do right click under services same new terminal at folder once we are there we're going to say this command period backslash fastboot underscore mac space flash space unlock a token space unlock underscore code dot bin and make sure your phone is connected you're going to hit enter it's saying sending unlock token check successfully so once uh, we completed the step um, for unlocking the bootloader on a computer and now we are back on the phone as you see it's showing unlock a bootloader so we're going to press uh, volume up and uh, power button the phone is restarting now the phone has been restarted so we have to turn the phone off again uh, in order to go to the bootloader mode press the volume down and the power button at the same time now we are on a bootloader as you see uh, the bootloader has been unlocked so now we're going to press uh, the power button and it's already uh, on fast boot and we're going to go back in computer now now we're going to go back and open uh, the terminal folder by doing right click under services new terminal at folder once you open that I'm just going to enlarge the screen so you will uh, see in one shot. We're going to write down period backslash fast boot underscore Mac space flash space recovery space open recovery hyphen M7 W L S hyphen 2.7 point zero point nine hyphen zero five hyphen zero one hyphen twenty fourteen then dot img and we're going to hit enter and it's going to say sending recovery and make sure your phone is hooked up and it says the finished so now the second command we need to write down period backslash fast boot underscore mac space arrays space cache enter and now it says finished and now we're gonna go back on phone now if you see uh, it highlights on fast board we're going to volume down to come on a recovery and then get the power button so now the recovery mode has been open so we're going to go on install then we're going to scroll up and we're going to see the super user file 1.86 zip file we're going to click on that then you're going to swipe that 
so now it's uh, finishing the finalizing the file now it says successful we're going to say reboot the system so the phone has been restarted now and we'll show you that super user has been added so go on uh, your uh, setting uh, and underneath you see the super user under application so that means the phone has been uh, unlocked uh, routed and uh, I really appreciate each one of you joining my easy steps phone repair and upgrade and uh, please uh, if you like it please share and uh, subscribe my channel I would appreciate that thank you and have a good day bye bye